All right, what's going on, guys? Your boy Retro back with another video. This is the first video that I have featuring the Xbox One, and one of the things I want to talk about uh, is one, la one the lack of videos. Uh, one because I'm trying to figure out why my Elgato capture card has not been working on uh, being able to record through HDMI output and the input uh, on the back of my Xbox One. So I'm trying to figure that out. So that's the main reason why you haven't seen any gameplay videos. I actually have been playing and um, just haven't been able to get any gameplay videos because uh, the Elgato will not be able to sh capture the device. Uh, on my TV, it'll say format not supported. So I'm not able to capture anything, and that's been the problem. So I've been uh, researching it, and a lot of people are actually having the same problem. So I'm not sure if it's a patch they have to fix. Uh, but I do have two high-speed HDMI cords, uh, plugging them in right, just as I normally would do the 360. And, uh, I don't know if I have to change the settings on my Elgato software or change the settings on the Xbox One. I'm not sure, but it won't let me capture anything on, on the Xbox One yet. So that's the holdup for the videos. So I've actually been playing a lot of Call of Duty. And I just want to show you guys how this pretty much works. On the left here, as you can see, has my friends list there. And I'm sorry for the glare on the TV. Uh, playing on a little 27, 28 inch TV. Uh, still good quality. And as you can see here on the left side, I have 18 friends online, 94 followers, and 94 friends. It has 16 unread messages. And so pretty much what it allows you to do, it allows you to pull up your avatar, you can appear offline, change the color of your background, set your gamer pick, set your gamer tag, all that good stuff. Now, one of the things that I was talking about, that I was telling Rambo about earlier, one of the features that everyone seemed to have overhyped was actually one of the better features that I think this console provides, and that is the Connect 2.0, which is sitting up there. And pretty much everybody was saying that the Connect was so unneeded, but in actuality, it's actually a pretty good feature, and I'm going to show you why. Now, as you know, Connect is based on a voice command prompt that allows you to tell your Xbox what to do. So, without using the controller, which the controller is right here, I'm going to go ahead and sit this down over there so you guys, uh, you guys can see it down there. Uh, I'm going to actually let it pretty much control it by my voice. So let's, let's give it a try. Let's say if I wanted to, um, let's see, wanted to play Call of Duty Ghost, for example. I would do this. Xbox Select. Xbox Select. Play Disc. Bam. Call of Duty Black Ops. Xbox Home. Xbox Home. Bam, goes right back to my dashboard. Xbox Snap Party. Pulls up the party chat. Xbox Unsnap. Xbox Home. Takes you home. Xbox Select. No, Xbox Select. And as you can see, some of the, excuse me, not Xbox Select, Xbox Home. As you can see, part of the pro, Xbox Home. See, as you can see, part of the problem, sometimes it doesn't pick up. I guess it depends on how far you are. Uh, usually when I'm a little bit closer, it picks up right away. Let's try it again. Xbox Home. Xbox Select. Friends. Takes you to your friends list. So it, it, it's not 100% voice uh, accurate. Sometimes it will, I'll say something like, you know, play game or it'll take me to Xbox video or something like that. Uh, it's not 100% accurate as of yet, but it, it works on about 90% of the time. Xbox Home. I see you there to see them in the prompt. Xbox Home. Xbox Home. See, it took me took me three times right there. So, I'm not gonna say that's an issue, but um, you you can kind of see, you know, the 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 little flaws that it has. But um, it can do some other things. Let's see what I can do. Um, Xbox user code. Now this is if I want to put in a redeem code. Now you can. I was telling one of my friends you could use it actually. Instead of entering the 25 uh, character barcode, you can actually hold the barcode up on the, the new codes that they have and show it up on the connect screen. And it'll be able to uh, process your code without actually having to enter the 25 characters in. Xbox Home. I don't actually have any codes to show you. Xbox Home. 
Xbox Home. So, but yeah, so I'm trying to work on getting these videos up. I like I said, working on Call of Duty, um, working on Rise of Rome. Once once I'm actually able to get this Elgato working, I can actually do some gameplay. So unfortunately, I can't show you everything that I wanted to show you. But a couple uh, frequently asked questions. One. Is the Xbox One better than 360? Yes, it is. Uh, it does take some getting used to as far as the Windows 8 platform because you, you just won't notice it's, a, it's just a bunch of shit that's just all over the place. But once you actually settle down and get used to it, uh, you're able to uh, figure it out pretty simple. Um, it's not that hard uh, the more and more that I uh, practice with it. Uh, one of the number questions was, uh, can you play Xbox 360 games on it? No, you cannot. It's not backwards compatible yet, so the only thing you 